okay. We got the food. Let's feed these puppers. Dinner time. Oh, there you go. Uh, hi. See, you're not so bad at Aww. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Dodgy and today we are playing My Friendly Neighborhood where we last left off. We saw some kind of monstrous creature running about, or should I say scurrying about. So sit back, relax, grab your snack, grab your beverage of choice, grab your stuffy, and let's investigate what's in the gardens of the neighborhood. Here we are. Is it a trap? It's probably a trap. I'm watching that door. It's a big hole. Wow! What a hole! Oh, those are dog houses. That's just a, a doggy door. I'm gonna go over here. You see, food is extremely scarce from hunger. Nothing. I'm always checking the fridge. Editorial. Last night, I was watching a rerun of one of the old newsreels from the war when one of the stories jumped out at me. In one operation, a platoon of our soldiers found themselves trapped in a collapsing mine. As they ran to the entrance, one of the timbers supporting the tunnel began to fall until a private, Joshua Hartwright, caught it on his shoulders. As he held up the wood, his friends scrambled out under his outstretched arms until after everyone else was out. He let go, and the tunnel collapsed in on him, burying him forever in the earth. When I heard that story, I felt a mixture of emotions. Pity for the waste of human life. Anger at the injustice of the war. But most of all, I was horrified. Horrified that a person might have to do such a thing. Horrified that it was being held up as an inspiration. To lay down your life for someone else, to lose everything, to have the veil torn, and the scraps of your life vanish into nothingness. How could anyone ask someone else to do that? Who would do that voluntarily? And if you don't, do they call you a coward? That's deep. You know, that is a good question, because a lot of people would say, yes, you are a coward if you uh, don't lay your, your life on the line. Oh, oh, hi. Googly eyes. Oh, the googlies are watching me. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Googly plants. Yeah, I see you looking at me. Yeah, I see you. Don't, don't you turn your eyes around. That's what I'm going to call them. They're googlies. Is there anything else of importance? What is that? Maybe I can use this to dissolve whatever's blocking the elevator in the hotel. Oh, Barry's jam. Sometimes jam clogs up the elevators, but why? If this happens, you can unstick it by applying this compound. Oh, finally! Wait, no, I, no, I need that. There's no room. Oh, there's no room in my toolbox. There is no room in my toolbox. We have to fix that. Let's remedy that. Grab the key. Got the key. All right, so we need these liquids. Let's see what's in this door since we have the key now. Oh, it's the power pack. Lifestyle opinion column. Somehow, life in the city doesn't seem as enjoyable as it once was. And I don't just mean because of the economy. I feel a burning anxiousness, a constant sense of missing something that saps the enjoyment 
from my normal activities and makes everyday discomforts almost intolerable. On the subway, people's elbows jab into your personal space. Angry pedestrians yell at you on the street. When I finally get home from work and snap on the television, I breathe a sigh of relief. Compared to the world outside, television is safe, predictable. I can choose what to watch and avoid what feels uncomfortable. For a few moments, I can escape the anxiousness and become lost in a world of pleasant dreams. So there really wasn't anything in there. Should we check out the dog houses? Let's check out the dog houses. Oh, they want me to ring the bell? Scraps? Flooper? Mahoney? What did he say? Mahoney? Mahoney. I think it's Mahoney. <laughs> Mahoney. Mahoney. All right, let's see what this does. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, okay. So we need food. Poor pups probably haven't been fed in a long time. Maybe there's some food somewhere? Maybe. Where could the food be? Let's look for some dog food. And we'll also, we'll turn on this elevator. Since we have the power now. Oh wait. Boop. There. Oh, hi. Are you a good pup? Or a bad pup? No, 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 no! Ah! I'm gonna feel that in the morning. Dang dog. It's locked. Okay, okay, no, 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 no. Oh! Oh no. I don't wanna hit you. I don't wanna hit you, boy. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Let's go in here. Ooh. They're just hungry. They're just hungry, that's all. Oh. Oh, that was the elevator. I was I was wondering how to get to this one, but I guess that makes sense. Uh oh, shh. That's what you get. Don't. You probably caused this. Don't know why you went through there and decided to blow up this whole area, but thanks. Appreciate all that you do. What do you do when you get upset? Oh no. Let me tell you about the times my friend Leonard got me all upset at him. First, I uh. uh <gasps> nice! There's no room in my inventory! Of course there's not! So I can be warm and comfy all night. Welcome! No! No, 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 no! No, no, no. Back off. I need it to go in here. Oh! Look at all these tapes! The city has seen a recent economic downturn as a new wave of corporations has emerged, characterizing by aggressive policies that place profits before the well-being of consumers. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Uh, one such corporation, Nebuzardin, Nebuzardin? Enterprises has been acquiring real estate at a rapid pace. Again, sounds super familiar. In many cases, evicting the current tenants as part of a program to reshape the city into a community more conductive to its business practices. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs, said Ronald Richbacher. <laughs> Uh, a likely name, <laughs> CEO of Nebuzaradin, <laughs> in a recent interview. 
While it may be painful for some, we are helping to create a city that can withstand the future. I already hate this article. This is probably my least favorite. No one likes you, Richard Barzaradadin. Film developer. Let's go on an adventure. Adventure. Oh, yes. I forgot about this door, too. We're just going to go through all the triangle doors. Ray's lair. Stay away. Well, of course we're going to go in there, even though it says to stay away. Hey, hey, that's not going to fix it. Ooh, he's angry. He's so angry. Why is he so angry? Don't come out, Ray. How do I... How do I turn it? Hmm. Oh! I just put that thing back. I just love how he cries. So we got the piece, finally. Let's put this together. Boop! Alright, now it's powered. We should be able to move this now, right? There we go. Oh no. What did I do? What do you want? Fix. Yeah, I fixed it. Ow. Fix. I, I, I just... Look, when, when you've got a problem, you can't just clam up and start hitting everything with a wrench. That won't fix anything. nice now, Ray? Are you gonna be nice? You're not gonna attack me, right? When when I when I go through the towers and and the the tunnels and the basement, right? Okay. I'm trusting you, Ray. I helped you out. Now you help me out. Don't don't attack me from here on here on out, okay? Oh look, it's another it's a rubber ducky. It's floating. I thought it was in the water at first because it looked like it was just floating in the water, but apparently it's just floating in midair. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, let's go back. <gasps> okay, okay. He snuck up a little bit too quick for me. Puppers is back there. We gotta find food. What is that? Okay, that thing doesn't doesn't die. That thing doesn't go down. Why are they everywhere? No! Dang it, dog! No. I think down here was where the other door was. Yes, here we go. Let's see what is in this door. We're just investigating all the doors. Oh, wow. What is this? Oops. Hmm. So we have a safe. We have that strange wheel over there. We have to figure out what the combination is for both of those. My friendly scandal. Richie Broman, known for playing Stevie on the long-running children's show My Friendly Neighborhood, is leaving that production after one of the puppet's performers, Ray, attempted to hit him with a clothes iron during an on-set conversation. The fracas erupted after Broman had made critical comments about the show's creative direction, including creator Al Gisrald, according to Eyewitness. 
It's always been like this on set, said Broman after an interview. Ooh, he had an interview. It's not just Ray. Pearl, Goblet, Ricky, they're all crazy, he added. This has been a long time coming. No one takes me seriously because I'm on MFN. I'm ready to have a career that's more widely recognized. Good for you, Bromy. Broman. Broman? Bromy? Broman. Good for you, Broman. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't know what it does. And that's something. What does this button do? Does he have a novelist? He has a novelist. Oh, this brought me through the parking garage. Okay. So then what does... Oh, it's another tape. Secret tape. Got another cheat. No, 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 no. Mm -mm -mm. Insert. Can we open it? This must be Pearl's house. Oh, wow. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Let's see. What is up here? Hmm. Oh. Boom. Nice. Okay, cool. We got that one. And we'll stick it. That bird scared me. I'm not gonna lie. It looked like it was running from, from up top of the stairwell. It was just a bird. It was just a bird. Okay. Do I need to switch this one now? Oh! No. Pearl? Dog food! Oh! Here we go. Ugh, I need six. Okay. Alright, so at least we know where the dog food is. What else is back here? Got tape at least. Where am I now? <gasps> Another tape! Not friendly. Oh, okay. We're back. Let's go upstairs. We'll put the masks back on these characters. So he had a bad day. Junebug had a happy day. Leonard? Oh, wait. She was scared. And he was angry. We're missing one more. I'm thinking that in that safe, and I've been wrong for all of my guesstimations, I'm thinking that the safe holds the last mask. I'm not sure, but at least the masks are there. We're just missing the last one. All right, let's go grab the dog food. Grab the dog food. Did that do something? Oh, there we go. Let's see, what goodies should I grab? All of it, really. Realistically, all of it. Dang it. Let's try and make it. Nope, nope, no puppers. Nope, nope. Okay, all right, let's check this out real quick. No, no, no. Ooh. What's up here? Is it following me? Oh, it's trying. He's trying. What is that? Oh, okay. Inspect. Oh, am I supposed to put these? Okay. He was there. This guy was down here. I did it. Oh. 
We got the weed out. Dang it, puppers. Stay down. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, okay. We got the food. Let's feed these puppers. Dinner time. Oh, there you go. Uh, hi. See, you're not so bad after all. Aww. Aww. Good puppers. Look at, look at how non-threatening he is now, now that he's fed. You know what? Honestly, I can relate. I can relate to that because when I'm hungry, I'm just as, uh, as vicious. <laughs> I get hangry sometimes. I, get, I can feel these, these poor puppers. Well, now that the puppers, was it Scraps, Flooper, and Mahoney have been properly fed. I think we're gonna end it here, guys. That is all the time I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and if you are subscribed, please be sure to hit the bell notification, that way you are aware of the next time that I post. I love you. Don't forget your boobs. Boop. Okay, bye. Oh no. Cupcakes. Chica. Oh, poor. Oh, it's okay. No. <laughs>